you think your mom would like to meet Vicente Fernandez right now? I said, Emily, let me tell you something. If she says no, I want to meet him. I'll be right back. Ama, dime, mijo. Emily wants to know if you would like to meet Vicente Fernandez right now. Mijo, that sounds nice. <laughs> All right, Emily, she's in. Emily goes, is she even a fan? I go, trust me, that's her reaction. She's good. She has the whole house covered with Vicente Fernandez records and cassettes. Okay, we're good. So Emily comes back and she puts these special VIP bracelets on us with a little click and she walks us through a door into the backstage area. As soon as we went through the door, I knew exactly where we were. I was just there a week ago. So I got my mom arm in arm and we're walking down the hallway, okay? Come on, let's go, let's go. We're walking down the hallway and we're getting closer and closer to Vicente Fernandez's dressing room. The door is wide open and I can hear a commotion coming out of the dressing room. And then a man and a woman exit the room and the man is holding onto the woman's shoulders and he's like, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. And the woman looks destroyed. Okay. Mascara's running down her face. My mom sees that and she's like, mijo, did you see that? Did you see what the mascara, eh, 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 what the mascara parece puta la cabrona. Sorry, puta means friendly. <laughs> so we get by the door and the closer we get, we start to see a guy in the room. He comes to the door. Um, in the room, there's three people, okay? There's Vicente Fernandez, the photographer and a handler. The handler comes to the door and you can tell by his voice that he works for like a Mexican radio station because he's got that voice. You know, like, hola, hola, pasale, pasale. Pasale in Spanish means come on in. So we start to walk into the room. And let me tell you guys something. If you grew up listening to Vicente Fernandez from a young age, and you get the opportunity to meet him, it is seriously a religious experience. <laughs> My mom and I are entering the room. The only thing missing is the freaking. <laughs> you don't look at him, you look at the floor. Out of respect, you just look at the floor. Come on, Ma. We get all the way up to him, and I see boots. And when I see the boots, my mom and I both just. <laughs> he knows what you're doing. He knows you're checking him out. So what he does is he poses, okay? Vicente stands there and he poses. He'll have the sombrero, the hat, to his side. And then he doesn't look at you. He looks away. <laughs> and he sticks his chest out. And he stands there looking like a big ass bottle of Tapatio at Costco. And then he looked at me and he recognized me, not as a comedian, but because I was there the week before and my photo was hanging outside his door. It, it's whoever's there last, you know, they always rotate the photo. So he sees me and he's like, I go, yeah, that's me outside, yeah. Hola. <laughs> oh, um, Vicente, Vicente, I'm sorry. Um, Le presento mi mamá. I'm like, oh my God, I think I just offered up my mom to Vicente Fernandez. <laughs> She's like 73, better late than never, ma, get him. <laughs> my mom starts walking up to Vicente. He was so nice. He goes out to shake my mom's hand and my mom grabs his hand and I don't know where she got this strength and energy from, but she grabbed him and pulled him in. 
hard, like the video game. <laughs> Get over here. Just, and then hooked him. She hooked him and she starts screaming into his chest, mi chante, mi chante, mi chante. I'm like, oh my God, she's getting horny. <laughs> and he knew too. Cause he was like, you know, quitamela, quitamela. The photographer, the handler and me, the three of us is what it took to pull her off of Vicente. We sit her down, she's bawling. Ah! Mascara's running down her face. The photographer's shaking his head. I guess Vicente had dinner earlier that night. He was eating barbecue because I had those wet naps, you know, barbecue wet naps. And so we take the wet naps and we start cleaning the mascara of my mom's face. And we stand her up and we posed her and we took the picture. Emily comes over and she, she takes us and she escorts us to our seats in the front. And for three hours, for three hours, my mom was on her feet listening to his, she refused to sit down. Mom, you should sit, no, come on, it's el gente. <laughs> Holding a shot of tequila that she never drank. <laughs> she just, she was, Three hours on her feet, never once sat down. That's how powerful his music was. My mom felt no pain for that entire time. And the minute that freaking concert was over, you know, dun, 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 dun. my feet! Oh my God, me con mis pies! Ay, pinche callo! Oh my God, my feet! I, and I'm like, oh great. So now I gotta drag this living novella <laughs> to the parking lot. I helped her into the car. Like, I told you to sit down. You don't sit for chente. <laughs> Here comes Emily. Did you guys have a good time? I go, Emily, Emily, we had the greatest time. Thank you so much. I got something for you. I go, what's up? And she hands me an envelope and I open it. And inside the envelope is the picture. She printed it out for me. And when I looked at it, I got so choked up because I have never seen my mom so happy in a picture. And it's not that she wouldn't smile. She would smile, but it was that, you know, one, two, three, cheese. <laughs> but this one was like, And what makes it extra special is that is the last photo I have of my mom and she was the happiest. And I know that that moment wouldn't be possible if I did not do this for a living.